A Surprise from Nelson Written and told by Kiefer Adams Nelson, the ballast lorry, worked with the Sodor Construction Company. His job was to take machines like Oliver, Ned, Buster and Byron to the sites that they couldn't get to on their own and bring them back again. Nelson had always wanted to do something to thank the machines for their kindness and support. And one summer's day, he had the perfect way of doing so. He just had to plan it very carefully without being caught. On this day, Jack and Alfie were with Thomas in the construction yard. They were going to build the foundations of a new warehouse near Thomas's branch line. Thomas, asked Jack, have you seen Nelson? He didn't turn up for the briefing this morning. I'm sure he's very busy today, replied Thomas. Well, it's not like him to miss the briefing, said Alfie. He's quite punctual. Thomas smiled warmly. I'm sure Nelson will have his reasons, he said. Perhaps Miss Jenny has already sent him out on a job. Jack and Alfie considered this, but as they were loaded onto Thomas's flatbed, they weren't convinced that Nelson had actually gone to work. In truth, Nelson had actually been sent by Miss Jenny to collect some new materials for the yard. James was bringing them to the warehouse and was waiting impatiently. What time do you call this? he exclaimed when Nelson finally arrived. <laughs> I've been waiting here with these trucks. Sorry about that, said Nelson. I was busy planning out something and I've no time for excuses, interrupted James. I have work to do on the Fat Controller's Railway, and I will not be delayed by silly lorries who keep dawdling. Before Nelson could say anything else, James had puffed importantly away. Nelson sighed, but he still carried out his work and was determined to meet his goal by the end of the day. Meanwhile, Jack, Alfie, Oliver and Isabella were working hard at the new warehouse they were building. They were just having a tea break when Percy arrived. Percy, called Jack as he trundled over. Have you seen Nelson on your travels? I'm afraid not, replied Percy. Is everything okay? Nelson's been acting rather suspiciously, said Alfie. He missed this morning's briefing and we haven't seen him all day. That is worrying, said Percy. But I'm sure you'll see him after work. Percy then puffed away. Jack and Alfie were concerned, but Nelson, unbeknownst to them, was still planning his special surprise. Nelson, meanwhile, had returned to the Sodor Construction Company's yard. Kelly was resting nearby. Ah, Kelly, Nelson called. Just the machine I wanted to talk to. Is everything all right? Kelly asked. Can you keep a secret? Nelson whispered. He could trust Kelly with what he wanted to say, and quickly explained everything. The old crane's eyes lit up. What a brilliant idea, Nelson, he said. The machines will love that. Can you make sure they're all here before seven o'clock? Nelson asked. Of course, promised Kelly. Leave everything to me. Nelson beamed, and hurried to finish his last job of the day. All he needed now was the big surprise itself. Exactly at seven o'clock, Kelly gathered all of the machines at the yard. Miss Jenny, with her little black dog barking with excitement, was also there. What's going on? whispered Jack. I don't know, replied Alfie, but I think we'll find out soon. Just then, Nelson rolled casually into the yard. Where have you been? exclaimed Alfie. We haven't seen you all day and... He was cut off by the sound of a loud lorry horn. The machines gasped. It can't be, cried Alfie. It is, said Oliver. Look, a large green and cream transporter lorry pulled up next to Nelson. Nigel, cried Oliver. <laughs> Nigel had worked with the pack before. He had retired just before Jack had come and did odd jobs on the other side of the island. Well, I never, exclaimed Miss Jenny. Nigel, what a pleasant surprise. It's great to see you, Miss Jenny, said Nigel. 
you may have Nelson to thank. Said this was a little thank you for everything he's done since I retired. Miss Jenny turned to Nelson and patted him on the bumper. Thank you, Nelson, she said. You've definitely made a mother proud. And us machines grateful, chuckled Jack. Nelson smiled happily, and as Nigel caught up with his old teammates, the old ballast truck had to admit he felt like he'd really given the best surprise to the machines of the Sodor Construction Company.